Good afternoon, Utah. I hope that you're having a marvelous Monday so far. Weather headlines include a cool day with clouds, but as we move into tomorrow, we get our next round of wet weather that's really going to take us through midweek, possibly lasting into Thursday. And that's going to be a round of valley rain and mountain snow. But by the time we get to the end of the work week and move into the upcoming weekend, Looks like we're going to get some pleasant weather once again. But as we look at the bigger picture of things right now, there's a little impulse of energy working through right now. And that's why we're finding a good amount of cloud coverage across the state. And I'm thinking in the northern half of the state, we could see maybe an isolated shower or two. But the main thing that we're watching is that, Pacific, that system that you see over in the Pacific. And that's what's going to bring bringing us that next round of valley rain and mountain snow. And here's a little bit better perspective on that, kind of animate this moving forward. So that's going to be moving just to the north of us. But a good amount of the state will have the chance for at least seeing some rain. But the best chance for wet weather as a whole is really going to be in the northern two-thirds of the state. But I wouldn't be completely surprised if we do at least see some rain stretching down into St. George. A little bit more likely, though, for up in Cedar City. And with this being a relatively warm system for this time of year, Accumulations are mainly going to be above 6,500 feet, but the snow levels on Wednesday morning could drop a little bit below that, and maybe some of the benches and higher can get a little bit of snow. But again, we'll have to see how that plays out here as we go throughout the next 24 to 48 hours. In the meantime, here's the view from Canyonlands. Just a beautiful view. We've got a lot of clouds around right now, but that's still a very pretty view as you look off in the mountains off in the distance. So Canyonlands looking lovely, and at Utah Lake, we had a lot of sunshine just a little while ago. Still seeing some blue sky peeking through there. But definitely we have seen an increase with our clouds, and we're going to continue to see more of that as we go through the afternoon before we see clouds kind of break up a little bit heading into this evening, and then more clouds will move in during the overnight as we start to feel the influence of that next system. But for today, we'll see a daytime high of 53 degrees in Salt Lake City. That's about 2 degrees below average. Pretty mild in Provo with a daytime high of 58 degrees, 62 down in Cedar City, 66 in Lake Powell, and 73 degrees in St. George. And as we take you through the rest of your afternoon into the evening in Salt Lake City, definitely a little bit of a chill in the air right now and temperatures are really not going to be moving much more. We'll be in the lower and middle 50s, so you might want that sweater all day. And then as we move into tonight, you're going to keep that mostly cloudy to partly cloudy sky as temperatures start to really fall through the 40s. Now let's take you through the future cast, and you can see that little impulse of energy with that little dip in the jet stream right there. But as we move into tonight, we're going to see that next system start to approach. And by daybreak tomorrow morning, the chance for wet weather will only be increasing. Again, valley rain and mountain snow. And in some of our mountains in the higher peaks, like in the Cottonwoods and in the western Uintas, by the time it's all said and done, wouldn't be surprised if we're able to get more than six inches of snow in a few spots. But the best chance chance for rain definitely going to be tomorrow, then heading into Wednesday with a northwesterly flow. We might be able to see a little bit of lake enhancement, then another, another weak system arrives heading into Thursday, so we're going to at least keep the chance for some wet weather through Thursday, but past that point, that's when the moisture starts to move away, and then we'll settle into a very nice stretch of weather for this upcoming weekend. But for St. George, a daytime high of 73 degrees today, partly sunny to mostly cloudy. We have that slight chance for tomorrow, and the daytime high will still hover around 70 degrees for the rest of the week as we get mostly sunny skies Thursday into Friday. Along the Wasatch Front, 53 today, rain showers tomorrow. We're going to keep the chance for wet weather Tuesday. Wednesday into Thursday, but it's drier with temperatures warming to or above seasonal averages this weekend.